a little piece from the Kenny Wheeler Big Band. And if you had any trouble tapping your feet to that, it might have been because it was in alternate bars of 5 4 and 3 4, I think. Kenny Wheeler's music is often like that, actually. Apparently straightforward, but with some surprises up its sleeve. As again in the use of Norma Winston's voice tonight throughout as a wordless instrument. But all through his varied career, he's stuck to the conventional instrumentation of the big band. No synthesizers, no tapes, no, no woodwind even. Because he believes there are still so many good sounds to be found in the old lineup. And here are some more in a piece called Blaine Place, showcasing John Taylor on piano, Henry Lowther on trumpet, and Mark Nightingale on trombone.
That was Blaine Place, named after the street in St. Catharines, Ontario, where the Wheeler family lived for many years. St. Catharines, I gather, is only 12 miles from Niagara Falls and the American border, so the young Kenny could easily have drifted south across that short gap to join such Canadian exiles as Maynard Ferguson, Gil Evans, and Oscar Peterson. So thank goodness for us that he chose to come and live in England. Though it's not always here that he finds the work, even today, because the next piece is one he wrote earlier this year, while directing the radio band in Cologne in Germany, though it's named after an English flower, the Winter Sweet. Fittingly, he has the flower of English musicians with him tonight. And I'll give you half of them now. The rhythm section with John Marshall on drums, Chris Lawrence bass, Mike Walker on guitar, and John Taylor on piano, and the trumpets, Derek Watkins, Ian Hamer, Henry Lather, and featured on Winter Sweet, along with Ray Worley on alto, Alan Downey. Thank you. 
Some lovely sounds there on Winter Suite with Alan Downey and Ray Worley. The Kenny Wheeler Big Band had an immensely successful Arts Council backed tour this time last year, which led to an ECM record called Music for Large and Small Ensembles, one of these snappier titles in 1990 perhaps. Um, they're going to play two pieces from the record of the tour in succession. First, Sophie, which is dedicated to Kenny Wheeler's granddaughter, so I'm not sure how aware she is of the honour followed by Gentle Peace. Uh, Sophie opens very dramatically with the four trombones alone, Mark Nightingale, Hugh Fraser, Chris Pine, and Paul Rutherford. Then, the five saxophones alone, a gift for a presenter, Ray Worley, Evan Parker, Duncan Lamont, Stan Saltzman, and Julian Arguelles.
first we had Sophie featuring Julian Arguelles, Kenny Wheeler, and Chris Pine. And then with Duncan Lamont, Derek Watkins and John Taylor, Gentle Peace, which Kenny and the band have asked to be dedicated tonight to the memory of Charles Fox, the jazz writer and presenter who was closely associated with them, who tragically died earlier this month. In the 1960s, Kenny was involved in a lot of the free playing which was born in those wicked times, and as if it wasn't bad enough having already had a bit of arts council music on Radio 2 tonight, the big band are going to sneak in a bit of rowdy freedom at the beginning and end of their last number. But there's plenty of solid good old-fashioned stuff in the middle from Mike Walker, John Taylor, Stan Saltzman, and some rip-roaring writing from Kenny in their version of his Tickety Boo. Thank you. 